All right, back here in BMS, go to the tactical reference for air to ground, or surface to air radars. So these are your SAMs that'll be looking at you. So we go to vehicles, SAMs, and you could choose whatever SAM you want to listen to. So let's go ahead and choose the SA-2. This is the actual SA-2 radar. That's the launch warning of a SA-2. This is the launch warning of a SA-4. After it's tracking you, the launch warning is the traditional launch on the F-16. But after it's tracking you, this is what it sounds like. There's the SA-10. So if you hear the sound, you have to assume that it launches you because there is no launch warning. You just explode 90 seconds later. Go to the SA-17. And one last thing, let's go to the Hawk because you usually it's on your side, but let's just see, hear what the Hawk sounds like. So make sure you go into tactical reference and look at all of the f different sounds and hear all of the different sounds from all of the different sites, SAM sites that you will see in BMS. And as I was talking about, the RWR does not indicate distance, it just indicates lethality. And once that a uh, one of the emis emitters go to the inner ring, that means that it's within the WES of that emitter, and it has the ability to shoot you down. So right here, I'm going to turn into this SA-10. Right now it's on the outer outer ring right now, and I'm not inside of its WES, so I'm going to turn in. Try to get it to, to lock on to me. Right now it's it's painting me now. Got mud tin now, but it's on the outer ring, so that's the search radar. And then once it goes to the inner ring, that's the fire control, and it's setting up for a shot. So there's a the new guy sound. A couple of new guy sounds, the low pitch, low tone one. So the tin is on the inner ring. It's not locked on to me yet, so there's a the chance that it launched me. So if I was in a, a real scenario here, I would probably start defending. But it's not actually locked on to me. It's not a priority threat. So that right there, that's a indicator that it launched. So I am about 50 miles away. I'm going to defend here by turning away. Like I just have to assume that it launched me. And it's still locking me up here. Mud 10, Singer 10. I'm just going to turn in the opposite direction and fly away. Outside of the WES. And there's no reason for chaff and flare, or chaff, because it does absolutely nothing. So there's no reason to even waste your flare, or your chaff with trying to defend the SA-10. There, it unlocked me. It's still using the search radar, so I'm not going to turn back. Gotta wait till the missile goes ballistic and misses me. Oh, it's still locked on to me, so I'm going to continue this way so you don't turn back. I got some, some flat face radars there. Back in tracking our search mode. I'm outside the WES, and it went on the outside of the RWR. So now I'm going to turn back in to showcase the blind spot of the RWR. So the blind spot is, imagine a rod going through the middle of the jet. If you if you point that rod toward the emitter, there's a high possibility it'll disappear because of your the antenna locations. See how it disappeared there, being that I'm sideways? I come back and it pops up again. I go back sideways. It takes a little bit, but eventually it'll it'll go away. And it's gone. I'm back and it's back. So be aware of that dead, dead zone of the RWR when you're defending and trying to get away from missiles. There's the SA-3. There's the 3 right there, being it's right underneath me. There's the launch of the SA-3. And it went straight to the middle, to the inner ring, because it's the threat. It's a pretty serious threat. 
actually overridden the SA-10. There's the SA-10. Assume that it launched because it's on the inner ring. A trespass is SA-3. There's the three. I could turn like this, and it's there. Still defending, and it's gone. But if I straighten out, it'll return again. So I straighten out again, and it's still going after me. So you gotta just remember of the the threat or the dead zone of the RWR and the F-16. If your 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 nose or your not your nose, your top of the aircraft or the bottom of the aircraft is facing towards your your threat, then it might drop off the RWR after a couple seconds if you keep that attitude. No launches here. Can't launch to me. Sure did. That that dead zone delayed the launch tone there's the went away it actually lost me there a little bit of a RWR action here with the inner and outer rings and launch tones and dead zones oh launches here 